Come on, open up. <sighs> Why does it open up? There you go. It opens up right away from my Z900, but not the R3. <laughs> you gotta toy with it a little bit. What is going on, my peoples? Welcome to another Red Moto Moto vlog. Today we are going to get the R3 lowered because uh, short people problems. Not me, my girlfriend. <laughs> she has. Uh, she's not able to put her feet down, or she's not even able to tiptoe on both sides of this R3. It being as low as it is, as it is. So I decided, you know, if. If I really am, if we really are serious about her learning to ride and learning to ride on a 300, one of the better starting bikes, um, and she could ride the Z125 just fine. Just uh, the R3 is a little bit too high for her. God, I should have wore a... Uh, oh, my, my legs are getting cold. It's it's a brisk 45 degrees here in Texas. I can't take tolls because we haven't registered the vehicle under our name yet from the previous buyer or from the pre from the seller, previous owner. Oh, it is cold, guys. It is cold for me. Um, some people in other places might be like, that's riding weather. Nope, not for me, but tomorrow it's raining and friday it's raining so this is my only time to get the deed done so i got uh, a lowering link kit and an adjustable kickstand which is needed when you lower your bike from t-rex racing why did i go behind this big ass semi um, so it's coming from t-rex racing and um, they're actually uh, based out here in uh, in Dallas. So I try to teach her. I try. So I try to teach my girlfriend how to ride, um, starting and stopping, putting one foot down, and it just wasn't working. It's it probably you know the bike's probably not the best bike to learn that if you haven't already practiced it on another bike that um, that's a little bit of a fail safe. But um, yeah, so our first night riding it out, she actually dropped her bike on the right side. On the left side, the previous owner had dropped her bike and she had dropped it on the right side. No damage, no damage to the levers, nothing too, too bad. Uh, it's got a little bit of fairing damage. No cracks or anything like that. Just paint, you know, paint transfers and, and crap like that, which I'm pretty sure could wash out. Um, but other than that, you know, uh, it kind of worried me because she can't, she can't back up the bike on her own. She can't um, move and maneuver the bike on slow maneuvers, uh, really, really slow maneuvers. If she can't put her foot down, and I, I kind of got concerned. Me as a boyfriend, you know, I gotta, I gotta take care of my girl. So I went to T Rex and I found some lowering links for the bike. I decided to lower it down and give that a try um, obviously I'm hoping that it's not gonna affect the bike in any way uh, otherwise I'm hoping that why you know maybe I don't know why T-Rex would sell it if if it affects the bike uh, in a bad way and my drop down is fucking up Think about not being able to take the highway man you got all these lights back to back to back the bike is great the last two days i've been commuting to and from work and uh it's been handling great on its own you know it's still in breaking period i got about 146 100 yeah, 146 miles right now um 
and I'm, I'm trying to see what or how many miles I can put in. Hopefully it warms up pretty good tonight and I'll just be riding around for a little bit. The thing that sucks is I cannot, like everywhere around me are tollways. And um, even though I would rather take the highway and go a little bit faster, cover a little bit more miles, get this braking period set and complete it, uh, I can't because I don't want to do the previous owners like that. Um, but I am dressed pretty warm um, besides my gloves not being super cold weather resistant and um, my boots <laughs> and my socks and my pants my jeans I got some bullet jeans on other than that uh, my core temperature is gonna stay pretty low because uh, I got some long johns underneath a hoodie and um, it's doing well right now We'll see how, how I mean, I'm, I'm flat footing this bike, man, like way more than flat footing. My, my feet are bending, <laughs> but um, we'll see how it is when it's lowered about an inch and a half. And um, with my girl's boots and everything, it should do her pretty well. Uh, it should get her to be able to at least put both toes on the ground, not both feet, but both toes. Um, and uh it get her to really really start uh riding with me uh, when the weather gets better hopefully i got this one strap bag on and when i put on the t-rex bag or the t-rex box in it i didn't empty the box uh the uh the top is open so i'm hoping that doesn't fall and we are here finally motorbike works frisco ah. hopefully they're not real busy i told them i was gonna drop in to get it lowered uh but hopefully they're not crazy busy and they can kind of get to it right away i've never had any issues with them um they've always been on top of their stuff but it doesn't even look like their stuff is open <laughs> they're supposed to open and not i don't see cars out here yeah they're supposed to be open <sighs> i just wanted to show y'all how the bike sits right now um so you could kind of get a see how see how it is before i lower it down it's it's still pretty low i mean like i said i flat foot it uh but um man it's gonna be a lot lower of an inch and a half let me see if these guys are uh are even here <laughs> uh oh it says use other door let's see usually there's like some of the bikes that they're selling out here and then some other stuff what does say open but I don't see anybody in there let me ride around the other side oh, there's cars over here Hey, I got the R3 here. I was gonna get it lowered. You get it lowered? Yeah, I told uh. About it? Yeah, you want me to bring it around the other side or? No, I'll just open up this door. All right, cool. Well, they here working on stuff. As my girlfriend's ride, but she can't she can't even tiptoe on both sides. <laughs> I got it for her to learn on. Really? But um she already dropped it because she she could she only could put one feet down at a time. <laughs> 
Yeah, so I got lowering links um, just to see if it'll help. Okay. And an adjustable kickstand. It's a 19. Yeah. Two hours later. All right, they just got it done. Bike is pretty low. <laughs> Check it out. Jump back on it, do some errands. All right, man. I'll see y'all. Yep. What's that? Try not to beat up any low kids. Yeah. <laughs> oh, trust me. I don't need to be on on YouTube. <laughs> All right. All righty. Now to kind of test out if the suspension's any different. Doesn't feel like it. They lower it the front about a three-fourth and they lower it the back about about an inch and a half, which is the max for the T-Rex link or lowering links. Gotta close this thing on my jacket. <sighs> You would think like for a, a car getting lower to the ground would uh would give you more uh aerodynamics. Uh, I don't know. I haven't hit any bumps yet, but bike still feels the same to me. <laughs> well when my girl gets here um on Friday I'm gonna have her sit on it and We'll see what the big difference is. We did a kind of comparison with the new kickstand and the and the old kickstand, and it's definitely lowered. Um, definitely a noticeable amount as well. Temp has gone up a little bit. be a little bit easier riding with the temps y'all so, i'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here make sure you comment like and subscribe i'm gonna test this out i'll let you know what i think about the suspension if it changed the suspension feeling on it and everything um and um you know maybe we'll see how uh how my girl likes it <coughs> That's probably the most important thing is if she can put both feet down, I'll be happy. I'll be happy with lowering it. I'll be happy with spending the money to lower the bike. If she could put both feet down, it definitely brings more confidence. It's not needed. You don't need to put both feet down to ride a bike, but it'll boost a rider's confidence, especially a new rider. If they can put both feet on the ground, they can feel the ground with their foot whenever they, they, uh, they stop or anything like that to control the bike that's that's one thing less that she has to worry about and she doesn't have to learn you know other skills such as you know riding with only one feet down and and all of that she can she can make the mistakes just like any other uh, beginner rider has made mistakes and learned from mistakes uh, but the important thing is that she can put both feet down and um, that's the whole point of lowering the bike give her that confidence level so that she can ride more um, without you know without uh, worrying too much about those issues so i'm gonna go ahead and end it right here guys make sure you comment like and subscribe this is Red moto signing out y'all peace